Yeah. Need a little help today, huh? Yeah. Where'd you guys get stuck? Oh, we were almost to Coronado and a helicopter flew me over. Oh, wow. You guys okay? They just recently changed their name to Harbor Police now. Um, so they're good about to leave my frame. Oh. Hi folks, how are you today? Doing all right. Good. Can I have your names please? Uh, Connor McNamara. And you ma'am? Heather McNamara. Can you spell your last name please? M-A-C-M-A-N-A-R-A. -A -A. Thank you. Can you tell me what happened today? We were out kayaking in the bay and it was really choppy and uh, we were fine though but uh, there was some uh, Helicopters, probably military, doing training exercises, and uh, one blew over us and tipped uh, my mom's kayak over. And uh, I jumped in to see if I could help her, and then our <laughs> kayaks got carried away by the wind, and we were kind of stranded. Wow! So you're saying it was a military helicopter? Was it fairly low? It was yeah, really low. It, was, it like, was landing like in Coronado, and like kicking up sand, and then it would pick up, and then it would go under the Coronado Bridge. And we were filming it with the GoPro that is now lost in the water oh, wow. <laughs> and yeah it just it it blew me over and in in a valiant effort to help me he jumped out of his kayak which i didn't think the wind would carry the kayak so that fast that's but. okay i mean you're, you're saving your mom you know <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the kayaks just went i mean yeah, they, they were gone gone and we're we were stuck bobbing in the water and you're wearing safety gear yeah the vest yeah life, life so is. what part of the bay were you on we were almost to Coronado. We weren't yeah, almost, that far. We were by a little the, off by the, the base or by the bridge. Um, it's closer to the strand than the bridge. Okay. So, how long were you in the water without your kayaks? I want to say half hour. Around that, yeah. So, what happened at, while you were stranded? We were kind of just we saw some boats. And we were just kind of waving our paddles in an attempt to get attention, and uh, we caught the attention of a uh, passerby, and he helped us up. His and, boat was called Living It Up. Living, living it up, up, living it up, yeah. And, and then he called the uh, harbor police? Yeah, he plucked us out of the water and then he went and got our kayaks for us. And I tried to get back in, but I was just too exhausted. I, I couldn't get back in the kayak. Well, I can imagine. So then he called harbor police? Yeah. yeah. Or no, the no, Navy no, no. boat came over. Yeah, so there was a Navy boat, but since they couldn't interfere or they couldn't help us or anything like that, uh, they had to call the harbor police and then the harbor police came over and they took us here. So. To Pepper Park in National City? Yeah. Is your car here? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I just I was thinking they wouldn't randomly leave you at some place. No, yeah. <laughs> so medically, are you folks okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. It's just, nerves are kind of raw? <laughs> kind of, I guess. Embarrassing, yeah. Embarrassed mostly, yeah. <laughs> Do you expect to hear from the Navy about this? 
No. No. <laughs> I don't know why they would care. It's just they're just doing their training exercise, and we were underneath them. How how high above the was the helicopter from you? It was directly like, above us a couple times. Yeah, but 20, 30, 50 40. feet. 40 feet about that. 40 feet in the wash. The prop wash just nailed you. Yeah, yeah that's what got us. Is, and that's also probably what carried the kayaks away. Right. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I'd like to thank the people that, that helped us. Thank and, living it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and the Harbor Patrol and everybody. Now time to get home and get some uh, rest. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, folks. No problem. Thank you.